hi there in this video we are going to discuss about graft versus host disease so let's start it uh, so graft versus host disease uh, graft versus host disease basically arises when there is the uh, transplant of the stem cells hemopoietic stem cells so uh, in what what condition hemopoietic stem cells are transplanted these cells are transplanted basically in condition of uh, bone marrow failure which is uh, which occurs in uh, aplastic anemia okay uh, they can also be transplanted in malignancies for example uh, leukemia and similar uh, malignancies they can be transplanted in the uh, congenital deficiencies for example thalassemia and they can be transplanted into the uh, hemophilia and so on so these uh, congenital deficiencies uh, can also be uh, treated by hemopoietic stem cell transplantation so these hemopoietic stem cells uh, basically they were derived previously from the bone marrow uh, but nowadays uh, what is done hemopoietic stem cell growth factors are used and when they are used uh, these cell then can be cultured from the peripheral blood so in modern days they are uh, derived from the peripheral blood after uh, using the hemopoietic stem cells uh, growth factors okay uh, so when they are obtained here they can also be obtained from the umbilical cord umbilical cord is a rich source of the hemopoietic stem cells okay uh, and uh, now we move towards the uh, disease graft versus host disease so how it arises uh, before transplanting the uh, hemopoietic stem cells the host is irradiated or, or it is subjected to the chemotherapy to destroy immune system so immune system of the host is destroyed destroyed immune system of host so when host immune system is destroyed he is basically suffering from the uh, immunodeficiency or immunosuppression so next stage is to transplant the uh, hemopoietic stem cell so when hemopoietic stem cell this is a host which is uh, immunocompromised no this is the uh, you can say hemopoietic stem cell when they are transplanted to, transplant to uh, immunocompromised host cell what happens uh, t cells here t cells in the uh, hemopoietic stem cells of the donor destroy the uh, tissues of the recipient so what is happening here donors t cell are destroying the uh, tissues of the recipient body uh, and the recipient is immunocompromised so when uh, t cells with t cells are involved both CD4 and CD8 uh, T cells are involved and this graft versus host disease can manifest itself in two forms it can be either uh, acute graft versus host disease or it can be a uh, chronic graft versus graft versus host disease acute graft versus host disease arises within days or weeks after transplantation and it basically affects three principal sites one is skin other is uh, GIT and third one is liver okay uh, when skin is affected what happens a rash appears on the palms soles neck and ears and later on this uh, rash become generalized and in GIT it lead to the formation of ulcers okay and um, lead to the bloody diarrhea it leads to the bloody diarrhea here and in liver it uh, destroys the hepatic ducts and damages liver which can lead to the genders and abnormal liver function so this is the manifestation of acute graft versus host disease however the chronic graft versus host disease develops in uh, later on within months you can say and this chronic graft versus host disease uh, can lead to the generalized skin uh, manifestation and skin lesions as well as uh, it can lead to the skin lesions similar to the uh, systemic sclerosis and it can mimic other autoimmune diseases as well so how to overcome this graft versus host disease to overcome this graft versus host disease one approach is uh, to uh, destroy the t cell in the donors donors hemopoietic stem cells so uh, when the t cells in donors hemopoietic stem tissue is destroyed uh, graft versus host disease risk of graft versus host disease is decreased however uh, there is increased risk of the transplant rejection okay as well as there is increased risk of the developing uh, recurrence of the leukemia the risk of recurrence of leukemia increases more ever the risk of abstain bar virus and uh, other viral infection also increases so on one side uh, this eradication of t cell uh, improves the uh, 
ਸਰਵਾਈਵਲ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਟ ਬਾਈ ਇੰਪਰੂਵ ਬਾਈ ਰਿਡਿਊਸਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਰਿਸਕ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਗ੍ਰਾਫਟ ਫਸਸ ਹੋਸ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਲ ਓਨ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਹੈਂਡ ਇਟ ਲੀਡਸ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਰੀਕਨੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਲੂਕੀਮੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਲੀਡਸ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਇਨਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਐਬਸਟੇਨ ਬਾਰ ਵਾਇਰਸ ਆਰ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਲੀਡ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਗ੍ਰਾਫਟ ਰਿਜੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਅ ਡਿਊਲ ਫਿਨੋਮੈਨਾ ਮੋਰ ਓਵਰ the patient when it is subjected to the uh, transplantation of the hematopoietic stem cells he is immunocompromised for longer duration because his own immune system is destroyed by radiation or by chemotherapy so it is prone to the much more infection so these are basically two principal issues uh, which arise in the transplantation of hematopoietic stem cells so it was all about today's lecture thank you